Go. My name is Nikola Tesla, and I am an inventor. I was born in Croatia in the year 1856 on a dark night as the sky was lit by a thunderstorm. My father was a priest, while my mother had some talent for invention. So I guess it's clear where I get minds from. Ever since I was young, I was captivated by electricity. What is this mysterious force of nature and energy that flowed throughout the world? I thought to harness it to benefit humanity, so I went to school to become an engineer. <laughs> Funny story though, I never finished school at 22, I dropped out of university. But my curiosity for electricity never left me. So I became an electrician installing lighting systems in Paris, the city of light. You see, during my time, electrical power for home use had just been introduced. Indoor lighting provided by the light bulb was the latest technological craze of the day. Sort of like the iPhone, but minus the cat videos. After two years in Paris, I decided to move to the United States, where I met a man named Thomas Edison, who was promoting his direct current or DC system of electrical power, which I must admit had some problems. Because of power loss, DC could not be easily switched to high voltages and required repeater stations every two miles just to pass on the current. These stations were loud and they sparked and could burn your house down if you weren't careful. So I had this idea to use alternating current instead of pushing all that current in one direction. The currents would be made to continuously flow back and forth and back and forth along the line. This allowed the use of a low current with a high voltage, something that DC had problems with. My system would work by ramping up the voltage for transmission and then stepping it down with a transformer at the end. Sounds strangely modern, doesn't it? Well, that's because I invented it, yeah. Now all that was missing was a motor that could run on AC, so I had this idea to use alternating current to produce a rotating magnetic field. And when this magnetic field crosses a coil in the center produces an opposing magnetic field and when these two fields interact the motor will turn. It's almost like magic. Of course Edison wasn't too pleased with my inventions because it threatened his business. He even electrocuted animals in public just to discredit alternating current. And we'd argue over this but eventually everyone saw the light. At the Chicago World's Fair in 1893 Alternating current was used to light up the festival, ending the debate and ushering in a new age. I showed the world the wonders of electricity, a gift of science to humanity, a gift that endures until today. The same alternating current system is used to light up that room and your room at home and every room in every city block on planet Earth. Of course, I wouldn't know this because I passed away in 1943 in a lonely little hotel room in New York City with nothing but my pigeons for company. If I could ask you for something is that you do not forget me and the connection that I built between mankind and electricity. My name is Nikola Tesla. Thank you.